How's it going guys? Today we're going to upgrade my existing dust collection system. It's a Harbor Freight dust collector mounted so it exhausts out the wall. And I have a fiend baffle set up right here. Set the system up, worked great. Only problem is I don't have as much CFM as I want. I think the fiend baffle took a decent amount away compared to how I had it before. When you exhaust it out the wall it definitely makes it a lot quieter and you'll notice your motor runs a lot smoother. But to help correct that issue, I'm going to do a modification that a lot of people have done to the Harbor Freight dust collector, and that's put in the 12-inch uh, recon impeller. This is going to be a real straightforward, simple process, and I'm recording this video because I want to show you guys how I did it so you can do the same thing in your own shop. One notable modification I did make to this already is the existing 5-inch opening on the Harbor Freight dust collector. I went and I have a 6-inch adapter to make it a lot larger so I don't lose as much CFM out of there. So either way, let's get started guys. We're gonna start by removing the existing cover. It's held in place with several number two Phillips head screws. You may notice my shroud cover looks a little different than yours. This is because to increase CFM, in the past I upgraded the stock five inch one to an aftermarket six inch one. If you're interested in doing this too, I'll put a link to it below. With all the screws replaced, we can now remove the shroud and have access to the impeller. When doing this, make sure you don't drop this gasket, it's important. Now we're going to use a 5mm Allen head socket to remove the bolt in the middle of the impeller. Please note, these are right-handed threads, so you need to turn to the right to loosen them. If you turn to the left, it will strip everything out. This is what the bolt looks like. With the bolt removed, we're just going to use this gear puller to pull the impeller off of the shaft. This tool costs me under $10, and I'll put a link to it in the comments below. To use it, close the arms so it grabs the indentions on the impeller and then advance the bolt until the impeller comes off. The purpose of this tool is to create even pressure to pull two major surfaces apart. I had to use a few washers to extend the reach of my gear puller, but eventually the two surfaces came apart. As you can see, the aftermarket impeller on the left is significantly larger than the one on the right. This translates into better dust collection and more CFM. Now we have to mate this spline shaft to the matching opening on the impeller. I'm going to use a sharpie marker to mark the location of the spline and the shaft. So when I put the impeller on, everything's easy to align. Now all I have to do is align the mark on the spline with the opening on the shaft and press everything together initially. After double checking that everything is aligned, I'm now going to use a rubber mallet to gently tap the impeller in place over the shaft. Because the surface you're pounding on is flat and recessed, you're going to have to finalize mating the two surfaces with a wooden block. Now all we have to do is replace the retaining bolt. Remember, these are right-handed threads, so you want to turn to the left tightly. Before attaching this route, I'm first going to get the Phillips head screws that hold it in place and insert them through their holes so the gasket grabs onto the back and it holds it in place. This is so when I'm working upside down, I don't have to worry about dropping the hardware. It's little tricks like this that when you're one man working by himself, save you a lot of headaches. Now all we have to do is reattach the shroud and then we're going to be able to test the system and see how much more suction we need. Okay, with the farthest hose in my shop, let's see how it does. Before I was at 12.1 meters per second. Wow, 17.5. I have to say, definitely worth it. Well that's it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching my channel. If you like any of the items you saw me use in this video, I'm putting a link to them in the comments below, and clicking that link will help support my channel. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments below, and also if you're having any problems with your own dust collection system, post them there too, and I'll be more than glad to help you out. I'm pretty good with dust collection after toying around with it over the years. Like always, have a great one. Thanks for watching.